This video is going to explain the Geometry Builder tool. The purpose of this tool is just to give you another way to define and edit geometry in a friendly input manner. This tool, you can use it to edit existing geometry, create new geometry, you can even um, edit geometry of microstation graphics. You can save this geometry out to an XML file. That is an archive file that just this tool reads and writes. And there's also tools within the Geometry Builder that compute closure and also that create reports. Like I said, there are different input formats provided with the Geometry Builder tool. This gives you a way to input data that is in a different set of units, direction, angular format, or linear units from what your DGN is set up. So if your, your seed file might be set up to work in ASMUS and your data is a different format, so with the Geometry Builder, you can go in and select the type of format your data is in. So right here, you can pick your direction or your angular format and your linear format that your data is in to be able to input it into the Geometry Builder tool. Now when you're inputting the Angular data, you can import it in many different formats. So the common way is just this north 60 degrees, 30 minutes, east. These are two different formats that you can type it in. It doesn't matter if your angle format is in degrees or degrees, minutes, seconds. You know, if you use this as your separator, it'll come in with your degrees, minutes, and seconds. We also offer another way to import it if you just use your separator with a space. So this works for both formats for degrees and the format degree minute seconds. So you could type. Another way to do it is with the decimal separator. One way to be cautious of this is that if your angle format is set to degrees, it'll interpret north 60 decimal 30 east as north 60 degrees 18 minutes. However, if you have your format set to degrees, minutes, seconds, and you use a decimal separator, it will come out as north 60 degrees, 30 minutes. If you're familiar with inputting your angle format using quadrants, we also support that as well, where your quadrant number would go first, and then you would add in your degrees, minutes, seconds as decimals. We support this as well. Within the Geometry Builder tool, there are four locks that just define how the geometry is going to get created. They're all right here. The first one right here, this is called the tangent restriction. And as I put in lines and arcs, this decides, am I going to force them to be tangent to one another, or am I not going to force that tangency? This next one right here is if I'm creating a simple or complex element. So simple elements, they just are individual elements, and a complex element makes a chain out of all of the elements. This third one, it defines whether if I'm creating graphical elements or civil geometry. So graphical elements would just be microstation graphics, or do I want to create a true civil element? The last lock right here is if I'm creating civil elements, do I want them to have rules or not? So it'll define if they're ruled or unruled. And right here in the lower left, it just puts words to what these locks mean. So right now, I'm going to create geometry that's non-tangent, it's uh, complex, it's a civil element, but it's unruled. So you can play around with these. So I'll check on that I want it ruled. So it's going to be a civil element. I want it ruled. And I want it tangent. So I'm placing a tangent complex civil element that is ruled. The Geometry Builder also allows for simple math within the different dialogues. Up next are the tools where you can graphically modify or insert geometry. They're right up here in the upper right. So you can modify geometry, insert a line, an arc, a spiral, insert a vertex, or just add an entire element. 
down the right hand side of the dialog are just different controls I can use to affect these different rows. So I can insert a new row, I can move it up, fit to view what I have selected, move down, I can delete a row, or I can delete all.